Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Fiesta Gardens Library. I'm so happy to be reading with you. We are in the month of February. February is Black History Month, a month long time where we always remember all of the African Americans, the black people who worked so hard to make our country a much, much better place. We still have a lot of work to do, but we are hopefully getting there. And I am going to read to you about somebody whom I think you all know, Barack Obama, our first African-American president. He was president number 44. National Geographic Kids, Barack Obama by Carolyn Gilpin. There is Barack Obama on the day he was inaugurated, on the day he became president. There's a table of contents. This is a biography about Barack Obama. Meet Barack Obama. It was cold on January 20th, 2009. Barack Hussein Obama stood in front of the waiting crowd. He raised his hand and swore to protect our country. The crowd cheered for America's first African American president. In his own words, no matter who you are, no matter what you look like, no matter where you come from, here in America, you can make it if you try. It's his beautiful family, his wife and his two daughters. A Hawaiian beginning. Barack Obama was born in 1961 in Hawaii, USA. His mother was from Kansas. His father was from Kenya, Africa. They met as college students at the University of Hawaii. Obama never really knew his father. When he was just two years old, his father moved away. When Obama was six, his mother remarried and had another child. The family moved across the Pacific Ocean to Indonesia, a country far, far away. Obama spent lots of time with his stepfather. He taught Obama to box. That's a fact. His favorite children's book is Where the Wild Things Are. Who of you has read that? This is Barack Obama with his mother and stepfather and little brother, his childhood. After four years, his mother wanted a better education for her children. She sent Obama back to Hawaii to stay with his grandparents. There he attended the Punahou School. Obama played on the basketball team and did well in his classes. So he went all the way from Kenya to Hawaii. Hawaii had many multiracial families, but few African Americans. Obama was one of the only three black students at his school. He started to notice racism there. Multiracial means having parents of more than one race. Obama felt different from other students and wished his father was there to teach him about his African family. When Obama was 10, his father came to visit him from Kenya. Obama was excited to spend a whole month with his dad. Obama's father visited Punahou School. He spoke to the class about Kenya. Obama was sad when he left. It was the last time he ever saw his father. A fact, Obama was called Barry before he went to college. Then he began using his full name, Barack, as we know him. Obama's cool firsts. You already know Barack Obama is the first African-American president, but do you know these other firsts? Barack Obama is the first president to own and use a smartphone. Barack Obama is the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review. He went to Harvard Law School and had a very prestigious job there. Barack Obama is the first president from Hawaii. His mother and grandparents moved there in 1960. He was born in 1961. Community and college. Obama lived in New York City. He saw how racism was affecting the lives of poor black Americans. Many had no money, others had no jobs. This bothered Obama. He wanted to help people improve their lives. Obama graduated from college and moved to Chicago. He became a community organizer he helped poor people find homes they could afford and he helped them register to vote. 
law school, and politics. In 1982, Obama's father died. Obama traveled to Kenya and met all his African relatives. His father had been a leader there. That made Obama want to be a leader himself. How could he start? Obama thought he should become a lawyer. He applied to Harvard University where his father had attended. He studied hard and graduated with high honors. Now, Obama was ready to use his education. He wanted to help others be treated fairly. He moved back to Chicago to work as a civil rights lawyer. He also taught law classes to college students. He worked for civil rights. He worked to make everybody equal. Obama dreamed of doing important things. He decided to run for the Illinois State Senate. He won the election in 1996. And in 2004, only eight years later, he won the election for an even bigger job, U.S. Senator. Barack and Michelle Obama were married in Chicago in 1992, before he ran for the Illinois State Senate. Words to know, a civil rights lawyer, a lawyer who makes sure people receive fair and equal treatment. What is a senator? one kind of elected member of the United States government. Every state has two senators. Road to the presidency. In 2004, Barack Obama was asked to give the main speech at the Democratic National Convention. This was an important event. He wrote the speech himself and became famous for it. His speech gave hope for the future. In his own words, there is not a black America and white America and Latino America and Asian America. There is the United States of America. That was in his speech. People wanted the government to change. Obama thought he could do that. So he decided to run for president. His campaign slogans were, yes, we can. And the other one was, change we can believe in. How could Obama win? He was just 47 years old, very young to be president. His campaign did not have a lot of money and there had never been a black president before. Obama didn't let this stop him. He used the internet to organize volunteers and to raise money. This was the first election that used the internet. On election day in November, 2008, Barack Obama won he became the first African-American president. The White House was Obama's new home. This is his family on election night. And this book to end has eight cool facts. Let's read. Fact number one, Obama has eight half brothers and sisters from his mother's and father's other marriages. Obama is left-handed. Any of you left-handed? Number three, Obama had two first dogs, Bo and Sonny, look how cute. Number four, Obama can speak Spanish and Indonesian. Number five, the name Barack means one who is blessed in Swahili, in the language they spoke in Kenya. Number six, Obama likes to play Scrabble. Number seven, Obama owns a red pair of boxing gloves once owned by Muhammad Ali. He was a boxer himself, Barack Obama. Number eight, Obama's heroes are Martin Luther King and Mahatma Gandhi. Eight cool facts. National Geographic Kids, Barack Obama in celebration of Black History Month. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Can't wait to read to you next time.